book that can provide a platform for celebrating friendship, everything that we, we want to do and be today, creativity that can be fulfilling. We wanted people to take time for themselves with this book. Getting back to handcrafts, getting back to cooking, domestic devotional, celebrating just our love of the home arts. Mary Brooks Pickin was the authority on fashion and dress in the 1920s. In 1916, she founded the Women's Institute of Domestic Arts and Sciences in Scranton, Pennsylvania, which offered correspondence courses in sewing, cooking, and millinery. At its height, the institute had nearly 300,000 students, making it the largest school in history dedicated solely to women. Mary Brooks Pickin was all but forgotten as a public figure, and I wanted to keep her story alive. What was most exciting to me when I discovered Mary Brooks Pickin was her connection with women's entrepreneurism. She truly created a platform for educating women on opening their own business back in a time where um, that was nearly unheard of. The Vintage Notions book is organized month by month, and each month has patterns, sewing patterns, recipes, inspirational essays, um, even testimonials from the Institute members. The patterns range um, from everything from purses to a cape in the winter to make, um, a little um, rose, actually the flower I'm wearing is one of the patterns that's, that's in the book that people just love. Back of the book we added a glossary of stitches which we thought would be a nice reference for people to have. We wanted to have a vintage feel but also modernize it so it really had an appeal for the modern woman. Once people have bought the book and had a time to digest some of it themselves, many people end up wanting to buy it for others and their family and share it with friends um, that maybe have that same connection and love for the, the home arts and creativity. One way that people are connecting with the material is through the book guide that we've created. If you wanted to use the book with a book club or a gathering, it's a perfect platform with lots of ideas for discussion, recipes you can make, and just little activities you can do. Once I found Mary's material, I, within the book, did my own essays of why I feel this material is relevant today. And now I'm able to do that on my blog. I go through the material regularly and pull more of my favorite inspiration that Mary has provided, whether it be a editorial piece that talks about friendship or whether it be a great recipe or maybe it's a project to make. There's just so much great material that I really have an infinite um, archive that I can then introduce to others. And for me, it truly has been um, my purpose to bring this content out. And I was literally compelled to, to publish this book.